The Compare To Podcast is part of the Spark Media Network, now available on the Edify Podcast app. Grab the Edify app in your Google Play Store or on the Apple Podcast app. You will be so glad you did. Hey friend, Heather Creekmore here. Thanks for listening to Coached Up July. Okay, I am trying to help you all month long with some little coaching tips, tips that I give my actual clients when we have our conversations and when we go through the content from my coaching course. And these are just tips that seem to come up over and over and over again and seem to be saying the same thing again and again. So my thought is maybe these are things that you're struggling with too. And I hope through this month long series that that you'll get something out of this and maybe feel coached up so you can feel freer in your body to not just enjoy the summer, but to really enjoy and live your life without being obsessed and stuck in body image issues. So today, we're going to talk about the similarities between being in body image issues and being stuck in an escape room. Yes, I hope you are intrigued because that's where we're going today and I hope you'll give it a listen. Hey, if you haven't joined the Patreon community yet, why don't you consider joining it? We meet once a month on a Zoom call where we just kind of come and share what's going on and I do a little bit of coaching there, but it's really just a great time of fellowship, getting to know other women who are struggling in the same way and hearing some coaching tips so you can stay free or get on the path to body image freedom. You can go to compare to who.me slash podcast and there's a link to the Patreon community there. You can also on that same page figure out how to leave a review for the show. I cannot think of anything nicer you could do for me if the show has blessed you than to leave a review. So go to compare to who.me slash podcast and consider leaving a review today. Well, I hope you enjoy today's show. Here we go. Welcome to Compare to Who, the podcast to help you make peace with your body so you can savor God's rest and feel his love. If you're tired of fighting body image the world's way, Compare to Who is the show for you. You've likely heard lots of talk about loving your body, but my goal is different. Striving to fall in love with stretch marks and cellulite is a little silly to me. Instead, I want to encourage you and remind you with the truth of scripture that you are seen, you are known, and you are loved no matter what your size or shape. Here the pressure is off. If you're looking for real talk, biblical encouragement, and regular reminders that God loves you and you're not alone, you've come to the right place. I hope you enjoy today's show and hey, tell a friend about it. Okay, hey friend. Have you ever done one of those escape rooms? So I did one with our small group years and years ago when we lived outside of Dallas and we rocked it. It was like a pirate's treasure theme and we were like out in like record time and we were hoping that they would like post our record on the wall okay it was such a great experience it was so much fun and then recently I did one here with another group of friends and one of the men in our group is actually like legitimately a detective and we had all done escape rooms before and so we're just like okay we aren't gonna do an an introductory beginner's escape room. We're going to do an intermediate escape room. And I must share with you that I think we called for all two clues. And at the end of our hour, oh my word, (laughs) we hadn't gotten very far. It was really hard and we were stuck in the escape room. And the hardest thing about the way they create these escape rooms is there's clues But the clues aren't super clear, at least not in this one. It was like you kind of had to figure out that, you know, certain words were actually like symbolic of numbers in a combination lock or that certain um, there were like magazine cutouts. Like it was actually like kind of the classified ads from like the 1800s (laughs) was in in this one section. And you had to like look through and figure out like the instrument size was connected to like a clue with the same number. I mean, it was super, super mind-bogglingly complex. 
And as I was thinking about these escape rooms, I was thinking, you know, that's kind of how it is for those of us that struggle with our body image. We kind of feel like we're in an escape room. And if we could just gather all the clues, okay, some of you know how to gather the clues. You watch YouTube videos on how to lose weight. (laughs) You Google fastest way to lose weight. You follow people on Instagram and Facebook who tell you how to lose weight or how to get better skin or how to get better hair or how to work out in such a way to get the body you want, right? Like those are our clues that we gather. And then we believe that with this collection of clues, we can take the information and apply it all to our bodies And then somehow magically get like the door to open, magically unlock the safe because we followed all the clues and we've done all the things to make our bodies the way we think they need to be so that we can escape our body image issues, right? And on the other side of that escape room of body image issues, oh, friend, when you unlock the door, wow, what's going to be unlocked for you? Wow, so much is unleashed right then and there. You get out of that escape room, that trapped prison you've been in for too long, and boy, you'll be able to find joy and you'll be able to find happiness. Oh, and it's gonna be so peaceful, you won't even struggle anymore. Oh, won't that be so nice not to struggle? And rest, did I mention rest? Oh friend, you will just feel so confident and so content with your body that you'll you'll just be able to rest in a way like you've never known before. You'll be done with obsession. You'll be done with counting and stressing. Oh, you'll just, you'll be free. That's the promise, at least. But friends, I've been working with women with body image issues for almost 10 years now. And you know what I found? I found that body image issues as an escape room (laughs) where we gather clues and try to change our body and find the magic formula for our body so we can escape them through changing our physical body, that never works. Why? Because body image issues aren't actually about your body. Body image issues are actually about your heart. And to some extent, they're about your thinking too. But I really believe that you can't change your thinking until you change what you believe. You know, you can't Jedi mind trick yourself (laughs) into having a better body image. You truly have to believe that it is okay to look the way God created you to look. You truly have to believe that God made women in all shapes and sizes and colors with different nose sizes, breast sizes, (laughs) butt sizes, different hair colors, hair textures. You have to believe that there is a wide variety of women out there. And that God is so much more concerned with the beauty that comes from the inside of your heart than he is in you matching the beauty of what culture says is hot in this day, this month, this year. Because you know as well as I do that culture standard changes. I joke all the time, but my goodness, my friends, in the early 2000s, I was trying to help women lose their butts. No one wanted a butt in 2005. Everyone was trying to work their butt off, literally, in spin class or kickboxing class. They were trying to get a smaller, flatter butt. And now people are wearing butt implants, okay? Everyone wants a round, sculpted round bottom, right? And I kind of feel bad for people that I helped in 2005 because now they've got to figure out how to make that thing round again, okay? It's always changing. And so the point is that if you think you can escape the body image issues like an escape room because you followed the formula to get the body that matches culture's definition of beauty, bomb, 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 or wonk, wonk, wonk. Oh, friend, culture's definition of beauty can change again. And then you're right back trapped in that room. Ah. 
And if you think by escaping the room, you can find rest and peace again, maybe it's womp, womp, womp. Again, my friend, anyone who's gone on a diet knows that maintenance is the goal. But once you're on maintenance, are you really free? I don't think so. Even um, almost every diet has a maintenance plan as far as I know, right? Because they know if you go off the diet right away without some sort of transition, you'll gain it back too quickly. And then you're not going to sell their diet plan. They need you to stay in a, um, a sort of state of limbo where you're not fully on their diet, but you're not fully off their diet. And in that state of limbo, you are better able to sell their diet. Diet companies are smart, right? So you're not really free. You're not really off the diet. You are on maintenance. So how do you escape the room? How do you unlock all the secret combinations and finally get free from your body image issues? Finally get out of the prison that body image issues are? I'll give you my thoughts on that in just a moment. Hey friend, are you sick and tired of stressing over your body? Are you to the point where you are ready to do something? Okay, you've tried all the diets. You've tried all the wellness programs. You've tried all the exercise programs and you still aren't comfortable in your own skin. My friend, we need to work together. Now, let me be clear, this isn't a magic pill you're going to take. It's not another diet. But in my group coaching sessions, I try to put you on a path to freedom that you can continue to walk for the rest of your life. We have such a great time in group coaching. I bring women together and hopefully, in a lot of cases, they've been able to stay friends after the group sessions are over. So you leave group coaching not with just with a renewed sense of who you are in Christ and how to overcome your body image issues, but also with friends to walk along beside you as you continue to walk this path going forward. I hope you'll consider group coaching. If you want to know more, go to compare2.me and go to the coaching tab and you can find out all about it. Sessions start in September, so sign up soon. I know it's going to fill up. So head on over to compare2.me, look for the coaching tab and sign up today. I'm excited for the chance to work with you. So how do you escape the room? How do you unlock all the doors and finally feel just peaceful, just happy? In fact, I was talking to one of my former clients the other day, and she's like, I don't know how to describe it, but I just, I feel happier now. Like, I eat a sandwich every now and then, and I feel good. (laughs) And I was like, yes, that's it. That's the goal. Now, is it a constant state of feeling good? Is it a forever and ever I'm cured and now I'm in fantasy land of never stressing about my body anymore? No, that's not realistic, right? This is an area that we are tempted in and will probably be tempted in for the rest of our lives, right? So the enemy is constantly going to be looking for ways to put us back in that escape room, back in the position where we're looking for all the clues so we can unlock all the magic combinations and find our freedom. But I think the problem is when we're in the escape room, when we're doing the clues, when we're trying to unlock the combinations, that we are actually trying to live life or figure out how to make life work in the world's way. And friends, we have so many countless examples of people who have tried to make life work the world's way only to find themselves in addiction, in depression, find themselves ending it, right? Find themselves in despair because they thought they were making it work the world's way, but the world's way doesn't work. It doesn't bring joy, peace, and happiness and rest. It doesn't bring contentment. It doesn't lead to a place where you feel secure and always approved of. It doesn't lead automatically to more love, 
right? None of these things are guarantees of getting a hotter, better body. And yet when we're in that escape room, that's kind of what we believe. Like we want to get out because then we know people will love us more or admire us more or want to be like us or just want to get to know us or want to know what our secret is, right? Depends on what your motivation is, right? Some of us want to be known. Some of us want to be known as wise. Some of us want to be consulted. Some of us want to be approved of. Some of us just want to be loved, right? Lots of different options there. But friends, getting out of the body image escape room is really more about recognizing that this is an issue. This is a battle that you cannot fight the world's way if you want to win. This is a battle of your heart. And the only way to win is not to do the Jedi mind tricks. Even like we can do Jedi mind tricks with Bible verses, y'all. Ugh, it makes me a little sick how much I've seen and heard this done in Christian culture, right? But just, okay, just re- repeat Psalm 139, 14 to yourself. You're fearfully, wonderfully made. You're fearfully, wonderfully made. You're fearfully, wonderfully made. God looks at the heart in First Samuel. God looks at the heart. God looks at the heart. You know, beauty is fleeting. Beauty is fleeting. Beauty is just say them to yourself over and over again and then you'll be free. No, 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 no. The real problem is this idol that we believe. We talk about that a lot on the show. Maybe today's your first time to listen and you've never heard of the idol before. I've done lots of episodes on it. But friends, I really, the more I work on these issues, the more I am even more convinced than I was when I wrote Compared to Who, that seeing the idolatry is the key. Yes, believe that your body is good. Believe that you're made in the image of God. Believe that you are fearfully and wonderfully made. Believe that God looks at the heart instead of at the body. Believe that beauty is fleeting. Believe that it is the inner, (laughs) the heart, not the adornment that makes a woman beautiful. Believe those things for sure. They're God's word. But believe even more so that what Jesus offers you in salvation is enough to cover all the ways that you feel insecure and uncertain about your body. Believe that what God says is true and what the world says is false, even though all around you it's going to feel like what the world says is pretty true. Yep, it seems pretty true. If I were thinner, I would not get treated like I am treated. Yes, if I were more beautiful, people would pay more attention to me. Yes, if I looked more like her, I wouldn't be overlooked. Yep, I'd probably have more dates if I could just look like that. (sighs) But that's not God's economy. In fact, scripture tells us that Jesus wasn't hot, right? If he's to be our model, why are we striving so much to be hot? He didn't model that for us. So you went out of the escape room, my friend. I think the best way out of the escape room is to acknowledge the ways that we have believed that the world's system would unlock the door for us. And instead, confess that, repent of that, and say, Jesus, I'm sorry. I see now that the world's way to unlock that door only leads me to another bigger escape room, another prison with a locked door. God, show me how to unlock the door to freedom, to unlock the door to abundant life through and because of Jesus only, not because I've achieved my goal weight or my goal body or fitness objectives, whatever, but God, show me how to find true freedom. Is that your heart's desire today? My coaching tip for you today is to just ask God, have I made my body image or beauty an idol? God, have I tried to escape this body image bondage escape room by doing things the world's way instead of the word's way? And see what he says. I know he's going to be faithful to answer you. Well, thanks for listening today. I hope something in today's episode has helped you stop comparing and start living for Jesus. Bye-bye.
Oh, hey there. Before you go, if something from today's show blessed you, may I ask a huge favor? Leave a review on your favorite platform. Seeing your five-star reviews is a huge encouragement to me. Not sure how to do it? You can go to compare to who.me slash podcast, scroll to the bottom, and you'll find all the information. And while you're at compare to who.me, check out some of the more than 500 articles on there about body image, comparison, all the things you're thinking about. Plus, you can find out more about my books, or you can grab a time for a free 10 minute call to see if coaching is right for you. I'm so honored to be a part of your journey out of body image and comparison frustration. And I can't wait to hear how God is working to set you free.